in the past have chose to spank their boys when it's come to disciplining them. And I've promised mum and dad that I will teach them a technique for discipline that will be very different. When you've already told them in a conversational voice to stop something and they've chosen not to listen and do as they're told, you then have to give them a warning. If they continue beyond the warning, bring them over to a chair and they are going to do time out. You're gonna tell them why they now have to sit on that chair and you'll set your timer one minute per their age. When they've done it, you'll come back and you'll tell them again. You were told to sit here because X, Y, and Z. You will then tell them that you want an apology. Hugs and kisses and you move on. I'm looking forward to using the technique. I'm definitely willing to try the timeout technique. Yay! It's clean up time. Yay! Yes, you can. There came a point when the boys had to start tidying up and Brody refused to do it. He started to stall. Brody. Look, what is this? And this. I'd like you to turn around and tell him, I'm asking you to pick up those pieces yeah. and put them into the box. If I have to come up here and see you're not doing it, you know what's going to be happening. Go on downstairs and when I come back, they better be picked up. You understand me, right? Brody refused to listen to him. And in the end, Dad put him into a timeout. Turn around. Get up, get up. Explain why he's there. Explain why he's there. He didn't pick up your toys, so you're in timeout. This is the first time this family have done a time out and so it did seem a little bit awkward for Jimmy. With Joe standing beside me it was like, am I going to pass the test? <laughs> and actually, we didn't see Brody get up from the chair. He knew that he was in trouble and he said his time. I was proud of him. Come and listen to me. You know why I put you in time out? Because you didn't do with some good coaching dad did manage to do a good time out with Brody but Brody still has to do what he refused to do in the beginning and that's tidy up that playroom let's go upstairs no upstairs He's asking for time out to, because he thinks it's easy. Yeah, of course. Okay, so. This is exactly the reason I think timeouts don't work. Oh, we're gonna do all this now. Come on, watch okay. me. Of course he's gonna want the sitting in the chair rather than doing what he's told to do and rather than getting a spanking. Brody, you've been asked by your father to go upstairs and start tidying up the playroom. So I suggest you listen and do as you're told. Off you go, please. Brody went off to do as he was asked and I went back to talk to mum and she was convinced with what she saw that time out was never going to work. That's why I said it was not his choice for him to choose no spanking. That's why, that's why I said that See, there because huh? he's choosing the easy road. He it's not an easy road. Once they've been in that time out a few times and they've realised that actually they're going to go back there again and again, to them, it's going to become very boring, very mm -hmm. stout, and they're going to realize what they're going to lose out on. I like the timeout technique because you can use it anywhere without having, oh my God, this guy's beating his child. Call the police, you know. I'm going to do my best with the timeout, but there are some things that warrant a spanking, and if it warrants a spanking, I'm more than likely going to have to spank my children. The boys eat a lot of junk, let's face it. This family as a whole need to eat more well-balanced meals. So I'm going to introduce them to a little happy technique. Today, you get a chance to decide a meal that you would like to eat tonight. But this is the catch. Mum and Dad are not cooking dinner tonight. You guys are going to be the chefs. They're like, really? We're going to get to cook? And guess what I've got? I've got special chef outfits for you. Getting the boys really involved with cooking the food themselves is going to educate this whole family about eating better. Okay, so the meal tonight will be what? You two decide. Pork. Pork chop. Okay. They chose pork chops and macaroni, a couple of vegetables and a fruit. And together the pair of them started to get their aprons on and get busy making the food. 
important for these boys to do it on their own, although Dad did give them a little help when it comes to using the knives. Slice them right there on the side. Yeah. Oh! Cooking dinner was fun because I got to cut the vegetables. The kids being involved with cooking the meal, they get to see the process that you take to make a meal. I think it looks great, guys. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Brody and Jacob had an opportunity to look at the different variety of foods that are out there. Y'all did a great job. This is good food. I'm really hoping when I'm gone for several days that mum's not going to go back to spanking, which means that mum and dad need to be tight in their relationship. So I'm going to provoke a very honest and frank conversation between the pair of them. Is it okay to get junk food out of the pantry? So I'm seeing a yes and I'm seeing a no. So we've got a difference of opinion here. Mm. Is it okay for the children to have a difference of opinion about bedtime? I'm always open to their opinions. Yeah, because that's talking back. Can your children make noise in the car, yes or no? She didn't ask if they could scream. Just listen to the question. He started nitpicking at the answers I was given, and it's something he does quite often. He's so cut and dry, and I'm not. I, I, I have a lot of thinking that goes on behind my head. I think what I say is right, but, you know, 100% of the time, and you do the same. To me, that yeah. all that sounds like is, you're just saying it to be pretty. No, no, I'm not saying it. To me, it really, yeah, no, does, because this, this is, this is, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. This is how it is. I'll be talking about something and you say, well, we're just not talking about that right now. That's kind of what it sounds like to me right now. I'm, I'm seeing where this is going and I'm I'm having a hard time right, explaining myself. Right, because you want to walk away. You no, I don't want to walk away. No, just I don't like, want to walk away. I sat very, very still because I did not want to be a distraction for this couple. I wanted them locked into each other so that they would air this confrontation that's been going on for too long between them both. Do you want to be married 40 years from now and hang out and like do great things together? Or do you want to just leave me at home and go do your own thing because you don't want to hear what I have to say? No. I want to hear what you have to say. Because if you don't want to hear what I have to say now, I can't imagine you as a 70 year old man wanting to hear what I have to say. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Honey. You know, honestly, me and me. I feel like such a butt sometimes. But I'm, I'm just too hard headed or too stubborn to go back to you and tell you I'm sorry. She was crying and. As a husband, it made me stop and think about how I was treating her. Come here. Well, that's one of my favorite little meetings that we've had. I think it made me understand Amy a little more. So, therefore, I, I think I can be a better husband. I love you. If I can become a better husband to my wife, then we can become better parents together. There's been some feelings that have been trampled on and it's raw it's raw in that house they're bruised they've got a lot of work ahead of them i am going to look forward to seeing you guys when i get back i'm gone for three days when i'm gone for several days mum is going to have the opportunity to put in the new discipline technique i just hope she doesn't go back to her old ways i want to see you guys really coming together i'm kind of nervous Bye-bye. Right. Seeing Joe walk out the door and knowing that we're on our own for the next three days. I'm going to do my best with the timeout, but I can't promise that I'll never spank my children again. Coming up on Super Nanny, mom loses her temper. Oh my God, please. And the kids feel the pain. Now stop it right now. When Super Nanny returns.
And now, ask Super Nanny. When your kids are sick, should you allow them to sleep in your bed at night for comfort? A. No. Comfort them in their own room so they learn to feel secure in their own bed. B. Yes. Allow them to sleep in your bed if they're restless and need more attention. C. Well, let the kids decide on the night. Find out the answer when we return.